Good old Commissioner to President. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay, we're going to do item number five. <coughs> Discuss possible action to create a temporary position for the grant project director. And this was. May I'll make a motion to create the position. Okay. Second. Second. Uh, mm -hmm. Dollar amount. We need a dollar for two hundred a month. Mm -hmm. okay. Is it temporary? Yes. <coughs> I've got a. I would like to have some clarification on what exactly uh, this person will be doing because uh, there's been different opinions. One of them was that uh, any grant had to go through them. Uh, if Commissioner Owens, for example, finds a grant he must apply for, it, that he cannot apply for it on his own. He has to go through this individual. And uh, in my opinion, that was not the intent. Yeah. No. I think that the, 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 the creation of this uh, position is because <clears throat> anybody who, uh, a project director, helps the person who is applying for the grant has to be a county employee. By state law, it has to be. So before Ms. <coughs> uh, we hire this person to help out, for example, the sheriff's department, which is uh, now, Teresa is helping out, but in the, when she leaves, this person will help that person more or less what the auditor's office is doing right now. Un understandably, and uh, the auditor's office did not apply for the grants, so this is not going to prohibit the sheriff, no. for example, no. from him and his staff applying for grants that come available. In his case, there are some that come up and uh, they've got to act quickly because right. they have very short deadlines. Right. Just want to make sure that uh, that, I, that is clarified. And yeah. what this is doing is actually preparing ourselves so when Teresa leaves, this person will oversee what Teresa used to do. Okay. So it basically is basically doing the same thing that we're doing except Teresa is going to retire. Yeah, oversight. Hope, uh, unless she says she's not going to retire, but at this point she is. Okay. But my understanding, let me make sure. The, the, the application and everything still is done by right. the, the agency that, that wants to do that. But the actual submission of the grant has to be done through mm -hmm. this and this. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. But it has to be, by law, it has to be a county employee. That's so why we created the it. process of having to go through the uh, grant review committee, et cetera, would not change. No. Okay. Any other question, mm -hmm. discussion? Okay. And there's a motion and a second. All those in favor, need to by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nobody, five zero. Our next item for the budget workshop, the way we're going to do it this year is we're going to let the commissioner discuss it first, and then any department or elected office that wants to discuss their budget is welcome to do so after the commissioners have discussed it. Frank, now you can come up here and... The only thing that... The document that you received, the only changes that affected were the uh, total revenue and interest in sinking funds, total revenue in the general fund, and then the first two pages that showed an allocation of the tax rate, and then the summary page which shows the beginning cash balances and uh, the estimated reserve that is going to be in there. There's also one other change to the beginning cash in the general fund getting a closer idea of what that number is going to be. And so in the first uh, filed budget, that was $1.8 million. Uh, and in this one, you'll see it's, it's $1.4. Okay. Okay. That's, so that's the only change in this document from the judge's filed budget. Right. So we're going to do a tax increase of two cents, which I don't agree with. You reduce the interest and in sinking fund tax rate from 0 0.0658 to 0 0.0411. Mm -hmm. and, by, and in so doing, what it, uh, the effect of that was to reduce the estimated ending cash reserve and in sinking fund to right at a million dollars at the end of the next fiscal year. 
we need to realize by doing that, um, there will have to be an adjustment for that. The following physical year, we're going to be staring down the back of raising the interest sinking fund to balance it. Yes. No. By how much? You can, you, well, what you need in there is 10.4 cents to, to pay the anticipated debt. So this is 4.11 cents. Mm -hmm. You're going to have a million dollars cash reserve in the interest sinking fund. But there, there should be a reallocation of the rates, not necessarily of all of going from 4.11 to 10.4, you wouldn't have a six cent tax increase. You would make adjustments in your general fund. Or you have rate. to reduce your general fund rate to balance it. That's correct. And then that's going to reduce the revenue in the general fund. That, that's Since correct. Since your beginning cash balance is projected to be 891000 versus the 1.4 we have now. That's correct. So you're going to spend four hundred, let's see, six, six hundred thousand dollars of our beginning cash balance to balance this budget. Okay, but you got to take into consideration the two point five million dollar tax note that you've authorized. So I anticipate that you, the court will probably move capital outlay out of this budget. So that's one point one million dollars. Mm -hmm. um, the possibility of discussion of the Frontera project, whatever contribution of that is, that comes out, and all those items and the Westgate project, <coughs> so those items would come out of that. So potentially that $1.8 million would be closer to $2 million in cash reserves in the general fund. And, and those are the items that the court needs to decide to give us direction on how to fine tune the budget. Hopefully we get some direction today to, to yeah. through this discussion. Well, as my understanding, the point of the tax note was to move the capital out of this and pay for it. Right, but then <coughs> there has been Which no is, court action yep. on Which that, and so... 1.7 million. 1.1. 1.1. Yeah, 1 million, 170 some odd thousand. But are we going to move all of that out of there, or just a portion of it? That's, that's the... Um, there, there probably needs to be some discussion on on the capital outlay uh, to equalize that between the precincts, but that's for the court to decide. Right. Frank, on this capital outlay, I'm sorry. No, go ahead, George. Uh, the IT phase one, is that in there? That's not in there. I've, my assumption was that that would be part okay. of that $2.5 million. Right. That basis. was my assumption, too, that there's money. Yeah. Go ahead. Well, I, I'm, well, one, I don't agree on the interest and safety. But, I mean, we'll need to sit down and figure that out because I'm still lost when I take. Uh, oh, on the beginning cash balance? <coughs> yes, sir. Yeah, yes. I did not adjust the beginning cash balance on that. Okay. So we should be a little bit higher on that. I anticipate that that number yeah. will be a slightly Cause, higher. Because I'm, I'm thinking anywhere from 600, 600, 700,000 more. And, and I mean, we'll, we'll go ahead. And, and those numbers yeah. can be fine tuned yeah, as you go if through you, this process. Yeah. And if you, because if, when you look at that, I mean, I went through and again started with our, what we had in our interest in sinking and then deducted all our payments and I came up with a three point some odd million dollar moving instead of the moving it forward versus the 2.3 so if we're closer to that then our yeah. ending cash balance is not going to be a million it's going to be about a million five yeah so okay. that, mm -hmm. there's th there's about five hundred thousand dollars. there's some fine-tuning yeah. that has to be done on all the beginning cash <coughs> exactly yeah. and, and then uh, in here uh, I, we just got this one, but I know in the last one that was filed, there was not a uh, nothing in here for the money we're going to receive from tax on, uh, from tax a line item on that 167 or whatever. Actually, the the uh, the beginning cash number takes that into consideration. Into consideration. Were well, we going to want to put that in a line item all by itself in case we? Uh, so the 1.4 already has the one 167 thousand in it. T taking where we stand today and what we anticipate coming in and going out by, by September 30th, that's the number. And actually it's 1.4 plus the $200,000 that's allocated for the accounting software because that's not, yeah. that, that's included in our cash number. Does that 1.4 include the 910000 No. Th no. The, the 910000 presently sits in 
the general fund. That has not been moved out to uh, the grant account, which is where the Westgate construction is being handled. But um, that was, the 910 have been drawn. Uh, right now, today, there's $4.3 .3 million in the general fund. But there's $1.8 million included in that number. There's $1.8 million in Marshall money that has been received and has been not sent out. And there's $910,000 from the tax notes that's included in that number that needs to be. So that's not in this budget, the 900. That's not in there, no. The 910 is not in here. No. The revenue or the expenditure. Nope. So we need to put that in there. Right. Well, um, there is not a specific line item in this budget for the Westgate project. There's also nothing in this budget concerning the Animal Control uh, Center. So there's things that are, are not in, and there are things that should be taken out depending on what the court wants to do okay. in utilizing this well, tax. Let's, let's, <coughs> let's fix one thing. Do we need to, we need to, the half a million or whatever we're going to raise in taxes, or with the, well, the proposed tax rate is, right. that money was going to be set up for the West Gate. And, and that, that specific line item is not in there because that takes so, support action. So do we need to act on every item and just go ahead and take a vote? That way we, we set this up? That way you, you know which way we're running? Yeah, that would, that would be preferable. To, so then what are we going to do with the 910000 that we just <coughs> borrowed for the West Gate? <coughs> if you're going to take the tax increase, and use it to pay for the West Gate. What are we going to do with the 910? Well, you're going to need a lot more money than the 500 right now just to get started. That you're going to have. We're into a, a situation now where we're going to be three or four months before any funding from the state mm -hmm. comes in. So I anticipate you're going to have to utilize the 910 plus monies to to fund the project and get reimbursed. But mm -hmm. you're going to go three or four months before any funding from the state comes in. I understand that part, but we're talking about a tax increase to fund the shortfall in the project, <clears throat> and we just issued nine hundred ten thousand dollars to uh, to pay for the project in a tax note. At the end of this project, that nine hundred ten thousand dollars is going to be there. We don't know how much. Yeah. You well, no, you don't know how much, but I mean, if 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 the Westgate project, um, if the county's contribution is in excess of four hundred twenty-five thousand dollars the tax note is going to have to be utilized to pay that. What the two cents basically put in using the 92% collection rate is about $425. So you need a line item for the 910, you need a line item for the 400 and some other thousand dollars. No, I don't need a line item for the 910. The, the 910, that will happen in this current fiscal year. So that 910,000, what was discussed at the last commissioner's court meeting, is we would move $410,000 out immediately into that grant account. That other $500,000 will remain in the general fund, and as needed, that money will be transferred. Okay. So you need a line item then for the money that the tax is going to generate in order to spend it? Yes. Okay. You just, well, I mean, you're putting your tax increase in the general fund. That's yes. where the tax increase is. You don't need a line item for the expenditure of the West Gate. You don't need a revenue part. You've already got the revenue part. I already got the revenue. Yeah. So you I need a line item. I need, need, a, I need the expense. The nine hundred and ten thousand can only be used for debt and capital projects. It cannot be used for operating. The, the um, because it, it, it's the issuance of debt out of the interest and sinking fund. No, no, that that that's correct. The 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 nine hundred and ten thousand dollars. The, the court action to draw down the nine hundred ten thousand dollars was to fund the Westgate the Westgate project. Yes. So th that's uh, the purpose of drawing that money down. That yes. that money is already in the bank, waiting for expenses to be incurred. Yes. So so again, we need to what we I'm, need to vote on setting up a line item to ex to spend the other four hundred some odd thousand dollars. The the four hundred and twenty five thousand dollars will be for any change orders that may come that are not funded by the grant for the project. Then just create a capital outlay line item and we can fund it out of capital outlay. That's the... the because that's what the the, the, the the intent of the money is capital outlay projects. Yep. 
cannot be used for anything else. But is that a motion? Let's, let's take care of something. I'll make that a. I'll make it into a motion to create the. The, 425. The 425 into the grants for the Laughlin project okay. and the remainder to be put under capital outlay. Okay. There's a motion. Second. Second. Okay. Any more questions and discussion? Not all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Nobody? 5 0. And then you're going to put the revenue in here? Because the revenue is not in here. The revenue is in there with the tax increase. No, no, no. no. The 910. The, the 910, there's a revenue item for the $910,000 in the no. general fund. The one that we're going to issue for next year. Next year. I'm talking about the one this we year. issued this year. The one that we've already issued this year will be, will be moved. So I, I'm not including that 910000 in a beginning cash number. So you're going to have that 910000 in a beginning cash number, but it's been designated for a specific I understand but just like we did the other capital outlay projects here we have we have the revenue the beginning cash balance which is the, the 400 in this case 910,000 <coughs> and then the expenditure of what that that is mm -hmm. but the the um, the, the 910,000 dollars that's that's been drawn down is to to fund the Westgate yes. construction until we get reimbursed, yes. and then we will get reimbursed yes. from that. There are, uh, it's an unknown value on what contribution, what additional contribution yes. Valverde County is going to have to have. Yes. So how do we keep track of it? I, I guess would I sort of agree with him because the last time we did this, mm -hmm. we rolled over the 910. We had specific use for that money. Right. And it showed up. It showed up as a, as our beginning cash balance, mm -hmm. and then our expenses. We had an expense for all that, and, and the expense would be. Westgate. Mm -hmm. So would it be a problem in doing it like what he wants done? Because that way we could actually s we have the 9.10 added <coughs> to the 1.8. <laughs> okay. There's a reason the, the, you're not wanting. My to do problem it. is yeah. is the court can't expend funds that aren't in the budget. If, if there's no revenue for those funds, and that 910 that we're going to create the line item for has to come out of what's existing here. Yes, it sits over there somewhere. But it ain't here. <laughs> okay. The um, what's what's in this budget, which uh, that Sorry. you're that you're looking at, is next fiscal year drawdown of the nine hundred. Mm -hmm. okay. There, I mean, we we all anticipate that we our contribution for the Westgate is not going to be nine hundred and ten thousand dollars. No. So the only thing that affects in the budget that you're reviewing right now is how much of that nine hundred and ten thousand dollars would go to your beginning cash number it's not a revenue item because it's no it's a beginning it's, it's a beginning cash balance of some sort just like we have over here on your beginning cash balance for the uh, 2013 tax note mm -hmm. you have one hundred and twenty three thousand your beginning cash balance and then you break it down by projects sure. of what those are Mm -hmm. Same principle. Mm -hmm. I'm not saying put it in the general fund because you can't put it in the general fund because it has to be used for capital. But at the end of that project, we're going to have a chunk of money left. Hopefully. Hopefully. That money can still only be used for capital outlay. For capital projects. Capital projects. So if you put it in the beginning cash balance and it winds up in the general fund mm -hmm. and we end up using it for operating, we got a problem. Mm -hmm. it, that's why it's yeah. not in the beginning yeah. of cash. So, so what I'm saying is, is just like you did the, 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 the 2013 tax note, mm -hmm. you create another one over here that says Laughlin Project or whatever mm -hmm. that shows the beginning cash balance of 910000 then you show that we move 400 and something to the grants fund and wherever we put it, however it's done. And at the end of that project, there's a reimbursement from the state, so that 910 is still there. So if the court decides at some point to go do another capital project, that money's sitting there. Yeah. And it's not tied up in the general fund where it's not supposed to be. That, that, that's all I'm saying I, is I, don't put it there, create like we did on this other one, another complete deal. I, I understand. So um, on our summary page then, if we, like we did last year, if we put the $910,000 and we put it for capital projects to be expended as $910,000, yes. That way, you would take that nine hundred ten thousand dollars cash beginning cash number, 
plus the $200,000 for the software that's remaining, plus the balance that you have in your general fund should equal the total amount of cash available. Yes. Okay, I understand. And I understand we're not going to know what the total number is until the end of this project. And we may wind up with 910000 We may wind up with nothing. Nobody knows that answer. Yeah, we, we don't know. But I understand if, if you put it in a budget and include it in, in all-encompassing for your beginning cash balance, at least it's budgeted as a capital project. Yes. Yes, yeah, I, I understand. I mean, that's what we've done. At the, that's the way we've done that's, it. That's time. exactly what we did before. Sure. Yeah. Okay. I've got a deal uh, on the animal control. Okay. Yeah. We come up with a salary of $28,000. Uh, so the salary would be 28000 Retirement at 11.76 would be 3293 somewhere around there. And then you have Social Security at 2142 but basically the salary is 28000 plus fringe benefit. And then uh, the line items for the, for the animal control facility would be uh, food is about $9,400. Uh, the medicine for the animals is 3400 I put in $2,000 for vet. Uh, travel and training, $6,800. Fuel. And, and I'll give you this, Frank. Okay. Fifty-one hundred dollars, and then tools that we're going to need this go round about forty-eight hundred dollars. <throat> and you're looking at about somewhere with fringe benefits, anything somewhere about sixty-six thousand dollars to fund this. Sixty what? About sixty-six thousand. And I'll give you this piece of paper right here. And we believe that we can operate this with one guy. For right now, yes. It's going to be more than what we have. And we're going to put it under the sheriff. Yes, sir. Sure. Yes, sir. Can you operate it with one guy? Basically, we can do, we can do what we can with that one individual. Yeah, in the meantime, probably to have it properly staffed, probably be about three people. Oh. And this will be. So, so these items, if, if the court uh, puts it in, will be an item underneath the, sure. the sheriff's office. Mm -hmm. There, there's some money there right now because you already created some of these line items within the budget from the last go, uh, or within the last three months, four months. Uh, you created a, under animal control. There was for the facility of fifty thousand. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah. There's eighty-five thousand yeah. dollars set aside for that. So, so the fifty thousand dollars we've only used, I think, like ten thousand. Well, I think there's, there's POs for twenty-two thousand dollars right now. In order for the facility, so there's still money left in there. That money, can we roll it over because yeah. the facility's not built? Well, that money's not left in there; it's sitting in the beginning cash balance of your general fund. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're so going to need. We've to already utilized those funds to balance the general fund. Now we've got to readjust that to yeah, pay you, for the. You would have to put uh, whatever has not been expended in this current <coughs> system here, and put it into the. Next. Well, and, and if we do the dollars that, that I just said right now, the only thing that, that we need, to, the other line item that needs to be added is to build the facility itself. The uh, whatever was left out of that $50,000 right now. And we took that money out of contingency. contingency. Mm -hmm. So right now, in this proposed budget, that money is sitting in your beginning cash balance of your general fund. That's correct. So you're going to have to... So there has to be an, uh, another line item added to the ones that you said on the building for the building and I don't know what that dollar amount is I think it's it's somewhere around I think there's like 30 I'm gonna say about thirty two thousand dollars still left out of that fifty thousand that we had set aside out of contingency but some of that is going to be expended before September 30th yes sir. yes sir. so we'll, we'll just kind of have to estimate what that number is going yeah. to be but you'll need a line item for that yeah okay I mean, we're going to create this, and that is what it is, but I hate to see us understaff it and underfund it. Well, um, I mean, it's real simple. We can add two more people. He said that it's well, I don't think you need two, but, um, I, you know, if you're going to do shifts, you're going to have night and you're going to have day. We, I don't think you're that gonna was have the weekends. plan. That was not the plan. Well, I mean, but if you're going to, that, that's ultimately where it's going to wind up. 
the plan was not to have people, not, I mean, if somebody gets bit and visiting with everybody, I mean, if somebody gets bit and you need to be called out, then you get called out. But to have somebody there all the time, it was never intended to have somebody on stat, on, on, at the facility 24 hours a day. That was never the intent. And this individual will operate strictly in the county. Well, you're you're going to wind up with a all, know that the, whole lot of comp time. I'm sorry? You're going to wind up with a lot of comp time out of this deal. Well, the thing is that the city has their own. Well, I'm not talking about and, being in the city. I mean, well, just, you know. my, my question is, is this individual going to operate strictly in the county? Yes. Mm -hmm. Outside the city limits. Yes. Outside the city limits. <coughs> Do y'all want to add another member to the staff? I mean, the intent was never for the individual to, to, for somebody to be there 24 hours a day. I think when we first started this was uh, visiting with the sheriff, it would be uh, regular working hours. And then if somebody got bit and we needed to go out, I think we've had two or three instances, uh, two instances in the last uh, couple of years only that, that somebody has gotten bit and we need to send somebody out after hours uh, at that point then somebody would need to go out but uh, I called the city on a Saturday because I had a, a, a sick animal in my yard <coughs> and they don't Monday. pick up on Saturday I believe uh, we, we don't we know we need the service but I don't think there is enough of a need out there to have more than one individual so I, I believe we need to start with one and then and see what uh, See how that works, and then and then take it from there. I don't think uh, just to overstep it would be worse than to understep it right now. And then the whole thing is we're getting something started that we've never done. Exactly. I, I think that exactly. by itself we're moving in the right direction. I, I have had one complaint in my uh, precinct this year for for stray dogs. So I don't know how many complaints the other precincts have had, but uh, I've had quite a few in, in precinct four. But I, I think we ought to start with one person and see how that works out. And if down the road we need extra help, well, we can always add another person, amend the budget, or, that work. or do whatever we need to do. So I mean, your consensus is one. That, that was my intention when we created that decision, that we yeah. create one, and then if it doesn't work, add more. But I would like that one person to start full-time in pre C4. <laughs> 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 that, uh, okay. Yeah, and that, that one dog that I had a complaint on, one of my employees fell on top of him and we never saw him again. <laughs> <laughs> the, can, can I keep going? Sure. Mm -hmm. The utilities, we've got three buildings we're fixing. To Is there a motion to put that in? Which one? So so you, one so what you I'll do? make a motion. Uh, <coughs> all the numbers that I gave to put those in. I'll second that. There's a motion and second. Any more discussion? And all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nobody? Five zero. The, we've got three buildings that we're fixing to, on the utility side that are fixing to come on. We have the woman's shelter, the veteran's office, and the animal control. Uh, the utility side of all those three buildings, uh, you're, we're going to need another 12.5 just to pay utilities on the three buildings. 12.5? 12, 12,500, and I put that in the form of a motion. Okay. There's a motion. I need a second for that. Second. Second. And, and, and just a little bit to that, a caveat to that, is really the only one that, that is going to be, I mean, so so we're, we're moving him, we're, we've rented another facility, I think Commissioner Flotis uh, in this court has actually gone out and looked for another another building. Uh, the woman's shelter, once that's moved, uh, the building where they're at is going to be utilized for another department. Uh, so, I mean, there's, there's three buildings. Uh, the building who's there? Sir? The building who's it? The, the building the, where the woman's shelter is going to move to, uh -huh. we had talked about, that facility is actually still going to be used. By? By who? Well, the plan was for adult probation is what we talked about the last go-around. We all sat same meeting <laughs> here. Slept since then. Slept since then. Well, we we talked about that. Mm -hmm. uh, we. Well, we won't get into that. But either way, uh, there is three other buildings. There's a motion and a second. Okay. There's a motion and a second. Any more discussion on that? 
Aye. Not all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Nobody? I, I've got one more than I'll quit and let everybody else go. Uh, the hot tax mm -hmm. on page 110. Mm -hmm. uh, that one there, the amount that we're projecting is 12865 mm -hmm. But we need to go by the percentages, not not by what because when you looked at it, it's the same dollar amount as what we got last year, but yet our collections we're projecting is going to be less. Did you oh, see yeah. that? So, and then on special events, there was nothing. And I mean, all the percentages were actually decided by a court order. Mm -hmm. So it needs to go back to percentages. I mean, I've got other stuff, but I'll quit right there. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Frank, I'm staying on that same topic. I'm sorry. You can I'm done. Done, Judge. On, on that uh, hot tax, uh, Shumla called and they said they were about they they wanted to get the same amount, but I also told them that they they're based on the collection and five percent. Well, when I looked at this paper, <clears throat> that Val Verde administration twenty five percent. Is that because of law we have to keep that amount of money? That's a court order. No, that's But what I'm saying is, what do we do with that money? The, the court in the past has um, utilized it for um, unanticipated um, events that have, have come. An example? I, I mean, I'm just asking because I don't know what... One of the deals. Oh, the special events. I'm, I'm sorry. The administration, the 25 percent, that just money's going into the general fund. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Are, are you done with yes. Yeah. I still have a concern with salaries for the uh, some elected officials. Uh, our, we, we've always talked about getting more money for our lower end employees, <coughs> but yet we wind up giving everybody the same amount of increase. Or, well, when you started going percentages, our, our upper end is the one that benefits the most. Uh, we've got a one elected official is going up to 76,481. We've got one going up to 87,106. We've got one going up to 102,000. We've got four going up to 64,474. We've got two going to 76,481. But yet, those that are at the lower end, 22, 20, to 25, to 30,000, uh, these individuals here are going up well over $2,000. A year yet to lower end of going up in the range of 700, well, other than 1700, the, the percentage wise is going to be two, three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars max. I, I again would like to see the lower end employees get the bigger chunk of the, of the raises, and also I would like this court to consider. Set in salaries, structured salaries for incoming elected officials. Uh, you have an elected official earning uh, $70,000. You have a, been there 10, 12 years. You have one brand new comes in and comes in at the same salary, $70,000. Uh, I believe that uh, we need to also structure the uh, elected official salaries to where the new incoming uh, elected officials, even if as or while they are learning the position, maybe the first couple of years, do not come in at a, a set salary, but at a lower salary until they learn the positions. And again, this is my own personal opinion, and uh, I believe that um, the intent is good for everyone to get a, a good raise, but again, the ones at the upper end always get a lot more than the ones at the lower end, and I'd like to see that reversed. <coughs> and I agree with you, Commissioner, except that when I came in here, 
there is not really a structure for a base state for elected office. No, there's not. There is not. So you can't really say, okay, this is what we're going to start at or whatever. It just whatever the person, when they left, the other person takes over at that salary. That's my understanding. Right. Yes, sir. That is correct. Right now, the only way we could do it uh, would be, let's say, give everyone the 1700 and then everybody over a certain amount not get the 1% or vice versa. Give those over 50, 60,000 the 1%, but not the 1700. <coughs> Yeah. And again, this is this is just. But it still doesn't answer the question: is where do you start the base pay for elected office? No, you're going to have to you're going to have to set that down. That's and, the key. And get it's not the raises; it's the base. Correct. So, okay. any other discussion on that? Okay. Let's go back to. Are you finished with me? Yes, sir. Yeah. Anybody else want to discuss on the? I mean, I'm going to save my biggest discussion on the tax increase for Friday. Okay. Uh, I've got something. We have a public hearing on Friday. <coughs> Monday. 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 Okay. Monday. Okay. It's showing uh, from federal okay. that uh, we need to make sure that we put uh, $175,000 in there to be able to total up the total match that we need, $350,000. I received an email from uh, Richard Sides with Denenbaum, and, and uh, he's asking for us to allocate an additional $18,000, and this is for drainage easements. They were not calculated in the in the project at Border Patrol. They they want this extra drainage easement, and uh, they're they're they wanting $18,000 additional funding for this project. Concerning those easements, where's that? It'd right. be the 98 on the last report, uh, page 98 on the one during this tender. There we go. We currently have 175. You're saying we need to split to 350 plus 18. Yeah, that would be a 193. extra 175. Those 175 that are there, they've been there. Mm -hmm. So what's the total dollar amount? 193. 350 for the match. No, 350 plus 18. Yeah, plus 18. Well, 360. Yeah. So we were going to take that out of there and put that under the tax net. That's what I'd suggest. Is yeah. Take it out of here and then put a line <coughs> as part of the tax note, the, the 368 to fund that. Hundred and ninety three, is that what you were saying? Yeah. Two three so you're so three hundred and so theoretically what we're what we're just talking about is removing the one seventy five from the current operating budget and add three hundred and sixty eight thousand dollars as an expense to be done with the tax note. Right. So you're gonna take it all out. Not the difference. That's fund it all through the tax note. Fund it all through the tax note. Okay. And then I'll go ahead. So 368, is that correct, Commissioner? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <coughs> yeah. So yeah. two point five. Um, on the capital outlay, I don't have a problem moving stuff out of here into the uh, tax note, but I think we need to set a limit. These lower end ones, I don't think we need to fund out of the tax note. I think we need to fund out. I think of, the last meeting we were at fifty thousand. Uh, it was discussed that anything in excess of fifty thousand dollars be acquired with a tax note, and keep everything less than fifty thousand dollars in the operating budget. The let me get back to the pipeline. That money that we're generating off the pipeline is in our general fund. But yet there's a court order, and we had we told the state we were going to move that money <coughs> to a separate fund for uh, the four precincts. Oh, you're bridge. talking about the special yes, taxing district. <coughs> Are we going to do that? I mean, we have to. to. Huh? We have to. Yeah. I mean, it has to be put under road and bridge. Okay. So what? Um, 
the value that she had given me was a $58 million value for one. on that pipeline. For, for one. one pipeline. There's two. Well, the thing is, though, that we only have value on one. Um, and I don't know how that works, if they get a discount or, or, or whatever, but that's what she said the value was, was $58 million. Um, as far as the co collection process, when you do that, don't you have to have um, special rules in place for the tax assessor collector so she allocates a certain portion of the collections to that specific project? That was part of the original order. Yeah, and that's what and that Allison Bass, or Allison, and I don't know. Allison Bass, right? Yeah. yeah. As part of the original order yeah. was to, to, to take that revenue, a percentage of that revenue, and set it aside. Because they can only be used for road and bridge. That's all it can be used for. Okay. I'm, I'm talking more of mechanical. Um, oh, okay. Uh, I, I think there has to be something in place in the tax office. Oh, yes. When she... Somebody comes in there and says, here's my mm -hmm. tax money. Doesn't she have to say, okay, well, that's part of uh, yes. this? So there's, what, only, there, there's only, uh, the good thing there, about this is there's only one question company. that makes sure that she understands yes. what property that is. And there's only one company that owns, I think it's Plains something. All American Plains, Plains All American. Yeah, it's the one that came, yeah. uh, the first Comstock one. side, but the other side. Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's only there's only one, according to the guy that does the appraisals for the appraisals. So it's only based on the valuation of, of that pipeline. Of the pipeline. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So when they come in and write their check, whatever that's percentage that we allocated has to go over here. Okay. The rest of it goes in the general fund. All right. And the tax assessor collector is on board with that? I mean, she knows what she's supposed to do. Oh, right. well, we have to get the judge probably to visit with her because... There, there was a court order that there was a certain no, percentage. No, I, I, I understand. I just... No, no. Somebody has to go visit with yes. you. That's yeah. what you're getting at. <laughs> and I, I think he needs to go visit with it. Okay. So, therefore, the $58 million, whatever, whatever the value is. We're going to utilize the 92% historical collection to estimate yes. revenue. Yes. But there was a percentage in the court order that we were going to use. A certain percentage of that would be used for the road and bridge. We didn't take it on. No, it was like 50% or 40% or I don't remember right off the top of my head. Only a percentage. Do you guys know what the name of the company is? I think it's All American Plains Pipeline or something. Yeah. And she already knows which one because I visited with her two weeks ago. But the, the mechanism needs to be put in place and somebody needs to visit with be in order to get that mechanism set. And um, I need to know what percentage is going into the road and bridge and what specific use that is going to be used for and what percentage is going to go in general fund and what specific use that's going to be used what, what, what the statute says is the money can be used for maintenance and upkeep. So that's the use. You can use it for anything in road and bridge for maintenance and upkeep. 100% yep. of the 58 yep. million. Yes. So well, not 100% of it. Whatever percentage we set aside, and I think it was only 50%. Yeah, we, did, we, didn't set, we didn't set the total amount of tax we were going to collect on the value of 58 million or whatever that value is for road and bridge we took a percentage of it and the rest of it was going back into wherever the general fund part of the road and bridge interesting whatever okay so then, then you want me to take 50 percent of a 58 million dollar valuation and put that revenue into road and bridge I guess what we, right, need so do, what we need to do. Yes, that's what we sure, have to do. We need to make sure what the court order said, what yeah. the percentage was. Because it might not be fifty. Yeah, yeah that's. Yeah, we need to make sure what the percentage. Was. Okay, are we going to find that out today so we can put that change in, or, or we're going to discuss where that the later? Court order was. How long ago was it? Committed? It was Allison Bass. It would have been two years. Laura two years, was here. Two years ago. Two years Laura ago. Laura was here. Yeah, it had been two, two and a half years. Can you, Jamie? Can you look back in the original? minutes and see if you can you know what would help is, is maybe we can call right now your office to check and see if when we actually got the money uh, given to the to the different commissioners because that would give us within two within two months before that when it was done we, we, we received we received the funds uh, and your office is the one that said okay you're this department you have 42 or forty six thousand mm -hmm. dollars and when we received those funds we did we had to have done a court order about two months before that we didn't get the funds yet. Uh -huh. 
You don't get the funds until you do the project. No, no, the, 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 yeah. from the state. Yeah, the 44000 yeah, for the precinct. Yeah, we got them. We don't have those funds yet. We've used them. That was like $168,000. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, if you ain't using them. I don't know. <laughs> I think I've got like two thousand in my forty some odd thousand dollars. No, I mean I understand, but it's my understanding we had to apply, uh, do the job, get the receipts, get the reimbursement, mm -hmm. and then get reimbursed back before you actually. Yeah, but they haven't given us the whole thing yet. Yeah, but we'll know when they said okay, now you can start this. Oh yeah. Uh, Carl is the one that took care of that and got with your office because I mean, as soon as I mean, it was like two months after we took. That was uh, court action that we started using. I started using the money yeah. within two months. That was handled through a grant. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. But to get closer to a date of when, that way we just ain't looking back 2013, 20, you know, doing whole you, years. You can search by title in the minutes, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Control F4. <laughs> Control F4 is on mine. <laughs> So no action on that yet because I don't know the numbers yet. Yeah. I guess what we can do is figure out that money, how we're going to split that money, whatever that money is. We would split it the same way we split our current percentages. Okay. So that's going to move monies that we have currently the in the general fund over to the road and, over to the road and bridge fund. Yeah. And then we're going to add expense items in the general fund for in the road and bridge fund well no it'll be under your normal yeah yeah it'll you'll just increase your normal paving, paving or operations and it'll be based off the percentage that we currently use to allocate those deals <laughs> is it based on the the rate on the general fund? Yeah, all of them put together. All the tax rate, interest yeah. and sinking fund, mm -hmm. so it's based on 51.98. Yes. If that's the tax rate that gets approved, yes, it would be based off of that. Well, that's what I'm saying. There's got to be. Then, then, then you're actually taking money out of the interest sinking fund and the road bridge. Or, or uh, yeah. you, you're reducing interest in sinking fund, road, uh, and general fund. Or was it? Uh, we need to get the original order. I don't. But we're talking like almost three hundred thousand mm dollars -hmm. mm -hmm. between all between everything. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going to have to these numbers and those two funds are going to have to reallocate. You wouldn't actually take it out of the farm to market because that's already in the road and bridge. Yeah, but I, it's basically the same thing. Yeah, but you got to take it all out and then allocate it. Yeah, it's going to be two, yeah, two hundred seventy-seven thousand dollars approximately. Mm -hmm. That's going to be reduced from your current tax collections added to road and bridge and distributed to, between the precincts. Okay. So y'all going to get with me and let me know the percentages. And how much the allocation is? Yeah, well, that's pretty. I get the percentages right now. If you want. But I don't know the dollar. The, the two dollar. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what the judge. Yeah, I'll check with me and <laughs> check with then see if we can find the court order. Okay. Okay. I'll get back to you. So. Okay. Uh, Y'all were talking on the on the capital leases. Is it is, are we sticking anything at 50 and below, or how are we going to do that? I think that's what we voted on. I think 50 below. I don't think there was a vote. No, there, there wasn't a there vote. Was a there discussion. was a discussion. We couldn't vote because we hadn't the budget oh, yeah. hadn't been filed yet. Okay. So I don't know that you. So is that? I mean, the I, that's what there? I would suggest that that the anything in excess of the 50,000 dollars. <clears throat> and, and I don't know if you want to to go over the capital outlay that's, that's currently in there and adjust anything in that, but that, that, that would be good. Huh? No, I thought we were doing the 340 apiece, so I didn't submit nothing. Well, I mean, that's, if, you, if you're going to do the 340, I would suggest doing that with that tax note. 
I mean, that was well, the original the 340 that we were going to do when we first started the discussion of the tax note was before these numbers wound up in here. This was the capital everybody requested. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> we originally had 340 per precinct. And then as part of this budget cycle, these were numbers of stuff we had asked for, mm -hmm. or everybody had asked for. And I, I guess everything wound up in here? Everything's in. Everything's in here. So are we going to go by these numbers or are we going to do the 340? My understanding, we did the 340 and then these were additional numbers on top of that. Okay, well, there's not enough money in the tax note to do. But we were going to re reallocate some of these other numbers that were in here. I had asked for 310 for roller and paving. Because, I mean, we needed the, the roller was 50. <coughs> the paving, I just want, we currently have, I think, 83,000. 83, if we can increase it to 100, I'm perfectly fine with that. In the, the actual budget, it doesn't have to be in capital. Won't you essentially do that when you reallocate yes. this 277 thousand dollars? Basically, that's what you're going to do. No, because I mean, if you all our paving budgets are going to go up. Mm -hmm. um, that's basically what you're doing. So, wouldn't you take it out then of your capital outlay that you requested here? Yeah, I mean, I, I never intended it to wind up in capital, the paving part. I intended it to wind up over here, not there. The only thing I had requested in capital was a roller of $50,000. So if we did three forty dollars a piece and then whatever the paving ends up being extra because of the valuation and the pipeline, well, I mean, that, on percentages. Yeah, that part of it is going to take care of itself. No, that's what I'm saying. I mean, but he's saying he needed more money in paving. Yeah, I was just trying to get the more money in paving. Right, so Whatever that number comes to with this increase, I'm perfectly fine with. Okay, so just so then, then instead of three hundred ten thousand dollars, that needs to be reduced to fifty thousand dollars. Yeah. If we decide, or if we just do three forty, we do three forty. I needed a roller, but three forty was for a motor grader. Well, if we, I mean, we need to come up with the number. And what about? Um, I think I'm perfectly four. fine if we do 50 across the board on top of the 34. What's the question on precinct four? You have 245,000, yeah. but we're giving you 340 in the tax money. Yeah, I mean, I thought that's the way we were going to work it. I mean, our well, whatever we requested, road and bridge. I mean, that was going to be part of the tax money. Okay, so I'm adding one million three hundred sixty thousand dollars out of the 2.5 will be for the $340,000 per precinct. If that's what that number is. What was that again, Frank? One million three hundred and sixty thousand. Is parts of fairgrounds going to get anything? Out of the tax note? Uh -huh. Well, I mean, that's what now, was your now number? at the time. What was your number? One million three hundred sixty thousand. I thought the tax note money was for precinct. Well, that's we three hundred forty thousand per precinct. That gives you one million three hundred and sixty thousand. And you, what was the issuance? Two. Two point five. So. Um, and that, what's the remaining capital in here? If you take those numbers, <laughs> if you take the capital, that eight hundred thousand. Eight hundred. So. Um, well, what would be less than that? You got you got to consider the the first phase of the IT, which was. Two hundred and thirty-six thousand, because there's two hundred and seven in there, and there was four hundred some odd thousand put together. I think it was like two hundred and thirty-six thousand. Because there was two hundred seven thousand already left, and there was four hundred some odd thousand in the first phase. Yeah, I thought it was a bigger number than that. No, how much was it, man? I brought the sheet, but I can't find it. I started to spread everything out. The first phase. The first phase was four hundred some odd thousand. It was uh, four hundred thirty-five thousand. Yeah, and there was two hundred seven. So that's how come I said I thought it. Was Two hundred some odd thousand that needed to be put in the tax note. You have two hundred and seven thousand dollars already in this budget for IT. In capital outlay? <laughs> no, uh, no, no, no. It's, it's in, part of in, your beginning cash balance beginning cash. on that accounting software. No. <laughs> that's not all. That's not for all IT. That two hundred thousand dollars is what. There, there's going to. There's going to need to be some reprogramming okay. of the So what would, the what would, we asked this question in the last go-round, there was 207000 That's how come I came up with that. If, yeah, there's money, so if there's money that still needs to come out at two hundred seven, 
then what money still needs to come out of 207? Um, I don't have that number right now today because there are some issues with the changes that took place this week concerning the personnel policy manual, and I'm not sure what that cost is going to be. If we leave 107,000 in there, would that be sufficient? If I think if if you left $50,000 in there for the remaining software mm -hmm. deal and use the 157,000 for the okay. phase, that would be good. You, you'd probably be all right. Okay. You sure? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He about 440,000. <laughs> Leave, take a, if we leave 157,000 to go towards that, you're 283,000 dollars short. So 283 yeah. in the tax note mm -hmm. plus the 157 from over here. Over here, yes, sir. And then you need to add your 368 for Frontera, right? I got I got that one in there. You got that one in there. So IT. Give me the number again, Commissioner. I'm sorry. <laughs> On the tax note. 283. 283. Yeah. Okay. You're at 1.951 in tax note. Uh, I get 2.2011. 368. You got 1,360. You got 286. You got 368. You're, you're right. Gives you 2,011,000. 11,000. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to say again, I need some money for parks and fairgrounds and stuff like that. Well, what? What are we going to do? I'd like to build a football field, some baseball fields. Um, and if that okay. doesn't work, then I'd like to go ahead and do buy equipment, whichever way y'all want to run. It's all up to y'all. I think we need to look at the issuance of a bond election in the sports complex before we start doing that. I and mean, I understand you need capital equipment, and I'm perfectly fine with capital equipment. Well, I would ask that y'all give me the same 340 that y'all, that every other precinct had. I put that in form of motion. If it doesn't work, then I'll go back and ask for capital for, for equipment. <laughs> Anybody want to second that? Well, I'll second that for a discussion. Okay. Go ahead. How far will that take us towards building the fields? I can do a football field, three baseball fields, and maybe a little uh, covered area for them to play soft, uh, soccer, not soccer, volleyball and basketball. And then give me a little bit of money to buy a, about a $40,000, $50,000 worth of equipment. We need to look at letting the voters approve a sports complex and build it right. Why, why do we need to do that? Same reason we did with the library. Well, and the I voters deserve the right to have what they need or to make the decision on what they need. Instead of continuing to build pieces here and pieces there and pieces here, we need to look at building a real sports complex and I think that's something the voters need to make that decision on. Are we? Do we have a figure for that already? No, we don't. I. At the meeting a couple of months ago when I wanted to go out and hire an engineer to start getting the numbers together, and we, did, we didn't approve it. So I know there's going to be an offer of some <coughs> land donated to the county to build one. Um, it will be coming here in the next few months. Um, but I think that's the direction we need to go. I don't think building those fields at that fairground is, is the right direction. You know, and, and I think that, you know, if we build a sports complex, don't build it. I think we all can agree we probably need more than what we have. Uh, I don't feel like if we built it, they wouldn't be utilized. I, I think the minute we got done, people would use it. Even if we built a sports com complex, people would still use it. And again, it's a motion. We have a second. And if y'all don't want it, that's fine. Then I'll come back and make another motion for some equipment. But I do believe that uh, no matter what we build, uh, it's still never going to be enough. Uh, I yeah. think this we could use right away. Yeah, and even if we use, we do do the sports complex, these can be used as practice fields. We're, we hurt big time for practice fields. <coughs> and but uh, wasn't the city doing a master plan for parts? They have a master plan. Uh, right now, the, the, what they were doing on the Field of Dreams, they had uh, 
two baseball fields, a uh, soccer field, uh, I think a basketball court. I think the first phase is only going to do a the baseball city, field and a soccer field. The city just backed out of the field of greens. Uh, my understanding and is the next meeting that they've put it back on the agenda. They're going to look at a sports complex, a larger facility. My, my understanding as of last week, they were putting it back on the agenda. Uh, to talk about it again because the council wanted to talk about the field of dreams again. So uh, again, I mean, I, I just don't, I don't see how they wouldn't be used. I mean, I think it'd be a benefit to the community uh, that we could actually build now versus, you know, at the end of the day, do we need more? Yeah. Uh, but I think this would serve a need now and, and it wouldn't be that expensive and, as and compared it, to the millions of dollars that are being thrown out. Sorry. If, if the city is looking at a sports complex or still looking at the Field of Dreams, why do we need a sports complex? The, the thing is with what we have out there, I can tell you right now in the 60 acres we have nine practice fields just with backstops. We get calls every day for more people wanting to practice. Mm -hmm. We have a flag football team that goes out there. We have soccer teams. Uh, we've tried to mow out in the center to where we get more people to practice. But when we start here uh, sometime this month, with different, uh, with, with uh, well, right now we got the soccer coming up. Everybody's calling for different fields, for practice mm -hmm. fields. We just don't have enough facilities for them. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, if we built this, I think we, I think it'd be used. Well, I, I doubt it would be used. It's a good used, investment in the community. I'm not, I'm not arguing the point that it won't be used, but then um, that money can also be used to, to fund engineering and, and all the other stuff we need to go build the facility that this community ultimately needs. But I mean, that's up to the court. Yeah, and again, I mean, I think it's something that we could build now, and if the voters don't vote on this other stuff and, and don't pass it, we'd already we still have something yeah. for them. I think it's a good idea, but it's up to the court. Okay, there's a motion and a second. Any more discussion on it? Not all those in favor, indicate by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed? Aye. aye. Three no and two aye. Okay. <coughs> Now you want to make a motion for the equipment? Yeah, uh, $120,000 to buy equipment and capital outlay. Second. And second that one. There's a motion second in discussion on that. Not all those in favor indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Buddy. Thank you. Frank. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's $188,000 for Amistad Acres. Did we, is that in here anywhere? No. Because that needs to be put in here. Mm -hmm. I would think, right? If the intent is to pay it back, it has to be put somewhere. Well, I mean, we we voted on it. Yeah, there's a court order. We put well, it in here. To get out of contingency. The judge already sent the letter in, the text doc, and we're just waiting. So that would remove $188,000 from our beginning cash balance? Uh, no, that needs to be a line item into this 1617 well, budget. Okay, we take it out. Are you going to do there? Are you going to take it out of the text message? <coughs> well, if you're taking 175,000 out of here already, you can just put the 118 by 88. 188. I mean, I mean, I'm sorry, 188. Yeah, I don't know if the tax note money can be used for the repayment. Okay. Okay. But but we took out, like we said, 175. So I mean, in the reality, you have uh, some money there. You have 11,000. So you're 11,000 short. I'm adding 188,000 dollars. Are we paying out of this year's budget or next year's budget? We won't, they won't have that number to okay. this budget. So I've got a question. The request for capital outlay that we put in, is that going to be covered with the 340 that we're going to get, or is the 340 going to be over and above the capital outlay that we, we requested? I, I thought what y'all just said is you're allocating 340000 and taking it away from what was requested by the precincts here. Yeah. Okay, so I requested a front end loader and then 60,000, so that would be removed. Yeah, you're so right. So it comes from the 340. Right. Yeah. Okay, now another question. We, I'm gonna, I've got an item on the agenda for Monday. Uh, we are running short on the pipeline for several reasons. Some of that money was used in precinct four. Uh, we had to buy materials we didn't anticipate, such as a lot more signage that was required by the uh, by the state. Uh, <coughs> some couplings that we didn't expect were, 
aspect that we're going to need and so on. Can I use some of that money for for that project? Or Commissioner not? Ramon, didn't we, uh, the court agree to allocate $150,000 for your project? That was, uh, yes, yeah, some of that money came. You already your spent project. all that money? I'm sorry? You already spent all that money? No, it has not all been spent, but because of additional expenses, it is going to be spent. I used a lot of my money uh, from Precinct 4 for that project, you know, and for stuff that there wasn't enough you know, money to, to pay for. But that's good, Chris, but uh, we, uh, <laughs> I'm requesting that I'm going to uh, be asking for this. And my question was, can some of that 340 be used for that project? Um, yes, it can. Okay. There's um, that money is going to be needed. I, I was visiting with Carl about that. Um, I, I asked him to contact you about putting something on the, at the earliest convenience because right. we've got a payment that needs to be made for that contractor. Okay. Yes, and I, I attempted to get it on here, but the judge said he'd prefer that it wait till Monday. And um, so if that is approved on Monday, mm -hmm. um, that money obviously is going to have to come from contingency, contingency to, right. to fund that. We've already okay. spent the 150000 we allocated? No, but we have uh, an $80,000 $80, bill, and I think we have $60,000 remaining. And then we have some about an... I think we're going to need like another thirty thousand dollars. What's the eighty thousand for? That, um, that um, contractor. Contractor. I know we took some of the money to pay the employees. Yes, yeah, a temporary. Mm -hmm. That was twenty five, twenty eight thousand, something like that. But that they worked on two projects. They worked on Gus's no, project. But we, he came back not too long ago. I mean, Commissioner Owens to add some additional time to those employees, or did we did something and, and they they utilized part of that hundred and fifty thousand? Mm -hmm. No, it was about a thousand dollars that was, that was uh, over on on right. that time sure. work. Any more discussion? Okay. <clears throat> oh well, Mr. Stewart, do we need a break? Do we need a break? Take a break. Okay, take a ten minute break. You keep getting up. I didn't bring my car. Okay. Thousand dollars for parks. And if you take the items that are in excess of fifty thousand dollars from the capital outlay that was included in the judge's budget, that's three hundred and thirty nine thousand dollars. And so that puts us at two point four seven oh. That's really like really close to that. So you got thirty thousand dollars remaining. Okay. Okay. All right, and uh, Jamie just gave you the, the 50. It is 50 percent. She showed me the minutes. <clears throat> so um, what what B needs to know is, is so the treasurer puts the money into the correct account is when B collects that money for the, that 58 million dollar pipeline. She needs to indicate to the treasurer so he can properly allocate the money to the proper account. That's the, if otherwise, all the money is just going to go as current collection in the general fund. Okay. Judge, mm -hmm. if we're not going to uh, do anything about fields, I'd like to at least authorize uh, Commissioner Owens to uh, level land out there at the fairgrounds and plant some uh, seed for grass, that way we have, uh, we can at least make use for practice fields that are, are always in need. Uh, I know we had some adults come and request a field that I call for their practices, and uh, I think that uh, we need to uh, allocate more practice fields for our use. You want to put that in the phone? Yes, sir. It is. So, you're, you're giving me authority to go do something, do the fields? To do practice fields, and we're not okay. doing the fields, but just all you got to okay. do, and, and we don't have to mark them or anything like that, just so where they can have a place to go and practice. That, that 120 
it, I use ten thousand dollars of it to buy seed and stuff. I don't, I, it'd be a capital improvement. You've got if you raise that number to one fifty, then that's the two point five million. Well, we don't want that much money for seed. I, I don't need. I mean, if we're just going to level up. If you use the the hundred and twenty you got to buy seed, I mean, whatever, I'm perfectly fine with that. I'll put that in the form of a motion. But I, I can use it. It'll be okay. What? I mean, I, I'm I sorry. Think we, we, oh. we, need to, we need a second. Add 10, before we, just, okay. for the we need a second for that for the discussion. Go ahead. Add 10,000 for, for the seat. To the one point. I'll, at this point, I'll take anything I can get. Okay. We need a, a I'm second. batting zero. <laughs> <laughs> we need a, a second for it. Oh, you had a second. No, I didn't. No. Oh. You add 10,000 to the one second. Okay. Huh? Now, you, go ahead. Uh, to give them the 120 plus 10 more per seat. So 130. Would y'all be all right with that? Uh, it, that should be enough seed, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, I can buy sand and everything with that. Okay. Yeah, that would just tickle me to death. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, there's a motion to second. Any more discussion? More? <laughs> My batting average has gone to hell anyway. <laughs> okay, there's a motion and a second. All those in favor, indicate by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nobody. 5 you. 0. I have to go buy them dinner or something. <laughs> Okay. Anybody else want to discuss on the? I know there's elected offices that want to discuss. Anybody in the commissioners want to discuss more on the budget? I, I know Mr. Cerny wanted to approach the court. Go ahead, Mr. Cerny. <laughs> Two minutes, Judge. I got ten thousand dollars more. I want to cry. I need to talk and we take it away. If I don't do that, then I'd really cry. <laughs> Go ahead, uh, I've, I've, I've approached the court uh, before on this uh, on this item, and this is and it's to replace an employee that I actually cut back uh, when my uh, when during the, the period of time that uh, construction was, was slow and a lot of the things that related to our office uh, were slow. Uh, since then, uh, there's been a uh, not only an upswing in 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 the the area of uh, construction where we're called upon to issue reports and in, in, inspections and etc but uh, also our, our duties have have increased is mandated by state and federal laws and flood control uh, and other areas and also compliance uh, is mandated by Texas Water Development Board in, in subdivision regulations and other issues that require a tremendous amount of outside work uh, this is the job description of the uh, that I had included in my so-called wish list of my budget, and and this it would be a risk management field tech one. As you can see, the general uh, responsibility would be enforcing the Texas Health and Safety Code, uh, investigate complaints of violations of the Health and Safety Code, and report back to the Director of Environmental Services issue notices of violation uh, <clears throat> according to the Health and Safety Code, that's the abatement of public nuisance, uh, interpret construction terminology in reference to the issuance of building permits issued by the department <coughs> and verify with on-site visits, and of course if perform any other related duties uh, signed by uh, our office. Uh, requirements are, are fairly basic. Uh, uh, possess a Texas valid Texas driver's license, possess a high school diploma or GED certificate, be able to walk in rough terrain and lift a minimum of 50 pounds. This particular job description does not and will not include any uh, uh, responsibility as far as the on-site sewage facility program is concerned. There's three of us in the office that are cross-trained in that and obtain, have the uh, licenses to handle that. Uh, that person, uh, the uh, salary, of, annual salary of that person requested would be that field take uh, one pay grade after visiting with uh, our human resource director would be 17,000, uh, I'm sorry, uh, 24,570. That would be, that was considered the old pay, old pay grade 17. I would like to be able to uh, take the opportunity to show you graphically 
uh, why this position is, is needed. Um, in almost entirely in the county, probably the only exception being Commissioner Ramon's uh, precinct because they're large tracks. Uh, but wherever we have residential tracks in the county, which is Precinct 2, Precinct 4, uh, Pre Precinct 3 in uh, Lakeview, Comstock area, uh, the abatement of public nuisance law is what anything uh, that falls within 300 feet of a property line or a public street can be enforced through that. And these are the type of situations. These are just a few pictures that that we went out and took in just a short uh, area. Uh, of course, tires, everybody knows tires are, are a big problem. Uh, this is, this is, an, you know, this, there's over 800 in, in Precinct 2 in, in, in Belvary Park Estates, there's over 800 properties. And, and these are the type of things that, that, that we, encounter out there and that we are trying to address along with all our other duties. Uh, if you, and this is within a, a two block area on Lorraine Street. Uh, we find this, situations like this, tires, which is fairly common throughout. And and then this is this is what really uh, I think is 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 why this is so important. Here is a real a real nice, well kept residence. And and this 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 gentleman I or people whoever they are I obviously keep their lawn their their yard they have their house in, in good condition and etc. And. <coughs> Right next to them is a virtual jungle with cactus that is uh, uh, six, seven foot high. Uh, uh, there's a dilapidated trailer back there, and you can see the edge of these people's house right next to it. Uh, and, and this is predominant. Uh, for example, I have some pictures in, in Precinct 4 uh, that... Hell, I was wondering when you were going to get to it. All, you, all you're doing is attacking my precinct. <laughs> no, sir. No, sir. I'm not attacking your precinct. Sure, this feels like it. feels like the same way, you, like what you did when you came to the court about me not taking care of the concession stand. And I this is, this take is care not of your the fault, same shit, Roger, over and over again. No, sir. This is, yes, this, sir. This is not your fault. This is in Precinct 4. <clears throat> This is, this is Commissioner Flores' precinct. Uh, and once again, we're finding, we're finding the, the, the same thing in, in his precinct that we find in any precinct. Roger, what are you doing about these now? We're, we're, do, we're doing what we can. Uh, we're working these, uh, we're, uh, we're attacking these, these issues on one-on-one, -on -one, the thing about it, and I knew that question was going to be asked. But this is not a, a situation where you go out just one time and, and, and remedy the situation. For example, in the, in the, in the, in the properties where you have uh, uh, lots that are grown up, the first thing you have to do is try and identify the lot. Then you have a process of, of, e of either attempting to serve it and, and locally or by, by registered mail. So we're working these. I think uh, Gus knows that and Lewis knows that. We're working what we can, but we need one person, as we had in the past, out there dedicated to do this. Well, of these, that, uh, these pictures that you've taken, what have you done about, done about these? <coughs> these we're in the process of working these right now. We okay. took these pictures. Yet. We went out to identify some controlled areas. And as we speak, they're so, so you are yes, working on definitely. And uh, uh, and this is no attack on your precinct commissioner. You have no. Your, this is not your fault. What are you asking for? I'm asking for an additional person. At what price? Twenty-four fives. And what about a vehicle? Uh, we'll do with the vehicles we have uh, because uh, uh, we have we have the two vehicles. 
uh, at this time, I can we can do with the vehicles we have, I believe. And I'm not asking for any increase in training because this person will not be going to uh, teach for OSSF training. <coughs> Thank you. I know I saw B here. B, we had some questions for you. In fact, uh, <clears throat> on the pipeline. On the pipeline, the information I gathered is that uh, the 58 million are within those uh, certified values, and um, that it's only one active. Uh, pipeline, and I asked about the search formula, and they t tell me that uh, there's uh, nothing going on with the search formula yet. What is that? And that. What is that? You lost me. They asked. They no, the search to formula. What is? What is that? What are you talking about? It, yeah, you're, you're asking about the about the pipeline, right? Yes, ma'am. About the value. Mm -hmm. And I understand you also. There's there was going to be a search. They wanted you all wanted to to know about the search formula to see how the money can be distributed. Mm -hmm. Okay. But well, what's it called? Search. 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 Uh -huh. Search. S e r. S. No. C e r t. Search. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I didn't know what you were saying. Okay. I didn't understand what it was. And um, what they tell me is that I believe that uh, Doug from uh, T Y Pickett had already talked to you about it. Mm -hmm. Okay, that he said that there was nothing going on with that yet. No, but there is a value put on it already. The so value? Uh -huh. there, there's already a value and they're supposed to be paying taxes on this. The value says. is within the certified values we already have. Mm -hmm. Okay, but he said it was only. I didn't either. I couldn't figure out what she was talking okay. about. But and, uh, according to the order, we had 50% of that value mm -hmm. is supposed mm -hmm. to go into a different fund. Okay, see, uh, th that's one thing they cannot tell me anything about how we're going to treat that formula. Okay. Well, I mean, it's one of those deals that I, th I think now that you've already looked into it, you already have a value. Uh, Mr. Ramon has already looked up the court order, and it is 50% of that mm -hmm. vat of whatever we collect on that pipeline mm -hmm. needs to be set aside to go into Road and Bridge. Road and bridge. Uh, then, I mean, matter when you, you collect that money, you're going to have to have a mechanism. To yeah, a mechanism. Uh, my understanding is it should that be that bad because be there's only one. Uh, I'm visiting with that individual that you just said, the guy that took the value. Mm -hmm. He said it was just one customer. The one, the one uh, pipeline? Yes, and, and it's one, That's one account, mm -hmm. right? So it's, it's not going to be like they're gonna be everybody's going to be coming in in bits and pieces. It's just one person paying the bill, one entity. So it ain't going to... You're not going to have multiple accounts. It should just be one account, according to that. And if I do, I'll let you know. Okay. See, right now I can't really see anything. Oh, no, don't let me know. Judge. Does <laughs> <laughs> so somebody please, know? Please. Uh -huh. So, theoretically, that the owner of that pipeline mm -hmm. is going to come up and cut you a check for yes. 200 and some odd thousand dollars for property tax. If it's only in one account? If it's like uh, they're saying that it's only in one account? Well, it's one owner. one owner. There's multiple of there's multiple blocks in there, mm -hmm. but there's one owner. And if they're going to pay, they're going to pay at one time. Not like that, the photo hills that we so, had different. So this is not considered like your utility lines and stuff like that. Rolling stock, or whatever you call it. No, like like they're only stock. Um, maybe I don't know. Not until I see the account number. And that's why I was asking. There was a fifty-eight million dollar value put on it. I don't know if there was discounts. If, if, if there was other stuff that that went into it. Mm -hmm. I mean, that I don't know. Uh, and when I asked for the value, uh, Mr. Sheedy couldn't give it to me. She, the other man called me, the one that puts the value on it, and he says it's one account. Looks like it's one account, one company, and it's a $58 million value. And I said, but do they get like discounts or, or something? And I think that's what you're talking about. Uh, I don't know. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, that needs to be figured out now. I mean, and she needs to figure out if there's, you know, you said rolling stock or, or whatever. That needs to be figured out before we start putting something in our budget. I mean, and we can't do it. I mean, she needs to figure it out. 
and just yeah, well, they should they should give me some kind of formula. When, when uh, and I that's what I'm it. saying. I mean, you have a you have a court order of the 50 percent, mm -hmm. and she needs to give you a formula as to how much y'all are collecting. I mean, but mm -hmm. it's nothing we can do. It's I mean, being and all the hours she needs to do it. And it's I guess it us. depends on when they pay it. If if they pay it in, uh, in October and they get a discount, or if they pay it in January. No, and that's fine because whatever it is, it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, whatever the dollar amount is. Well, there's still 50% of it needs to be broken. It's about $150,000. A yeah, little less than $150,000. I'm just trying to figure out a um, dollar. A dollar amount so we can mm -hmm. put it in a budget. At 100%, it's about $150,000. So if you, you have to take the 92% off of it. Well, I think you can get that done in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, it's just going to take a while. Yeah, I'm basing it off of the, the entire tax rate. Mm -hmm. it would, at 100% collection, it's 150700 which is half. That's half of the total. Yeah, and you have to figure it at 92% or whatever we figure. Yeah, it's higher than that. It should be, um, should be close to like 277000 well, You're talking about? 51 cents on $58 million. Yeah, well, I, I'm giving you half, not... The whole thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm giving you the half part, yeah, not half. the whole thing. Yes, right. Yeah. Uh, so it's about 100, and, it's less than 150, it's 130, one, something like that. That's at 100%. It'd yeah. be 150, <coughs> half of that. Yeah. That I didn't figure it off at 92%. Yeah, one, 138. Yeah. And yeah. whatever I find out, I'll let you know. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. Okay, Sheriff, do you want to Yes. Okay. Have a good day. Judge, Commissioner. Uh, just for, for clarification on, on the budget that, on the proposed budget that was filed on page 74 of 98, uh, the calculations does not come across as the deputy's uh, salary of 34. Just want to make sure that that gets corrected. I think, I think that was an actual court decision. Mm -hmm. That was an error on, on our part, and I think it amounts to an additional $7,000 that I wanted the sheriff to present it because I wanted to make sure that understanding of the court was going to raise yes. that. Mm -hmm. the intent to raise the 30, 30. Right. Yes. Yeah, yeah, that was a, that was a Okay. I just wanted to make sure that it was included in that. Also, on the, on the capital, uh, when we submitted it, uh, we asked for three vehicles, just for clarification, see if they're, in, they're still in there. They're still, they're in, still in there. Okay. And just to go on the, on the record, I guess, uh, I requested uh, six additional deputy positions. Yeah, they're not in there. Okay. I just wanted to go on the record. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. And then uh, one, one last one, the uh, communication lead uh, a position. No, that wasn't included. We don't have any new positions in this hey, picture yet. The only thing we did was raise the communication at 24. Okay. There's no new positions at all in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Sosa. Mr. Sosa. No, we yeah. gave one to yeah. Sosa. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, he'd actually gone high from 3,400 okay. or 3,900 mm -hmm. to 8,900 contact. Okay. Oh, yeah, the dog gift. <coughs> Good morning, Judge. Good morning, Commissioners. To the last uh, budget hearing, uh, just wanted to go on record as the sheriff said the travel and training I'm still requesting 1100 uh, I haven't seen the new budget to see if that's if that was included no it's not in okay and at the last budget workshop uh, you all had asked me to come back with figures on what an accountant would cost or an accountant would be in my office I went on my list serve uh, they've all the like Comparable counties have come back anywhere from forty-five to sixty-five thousand uh, annually for an accountant. I've asked locally, and uh, how much money are you asking for? Anywhere from forty to fifty-five. How much money are you asking for? Forty-five. Well, let me find your budget. In what, your personnel. What? What? It says your budget. I don't. What I have one yeah. thirty-one. At least it wasn't the last one. Not the numbers closed. The pages may have changed. Now. Yeah, the numbers have changed. Uh, yeah, yeah. On, the, on the one we were just handed, the numbers have changed on the bottom. I haven't received that one yet. And we just received it. 
Okay, well, I, I think it says 136. My number's cut off. It's right after the county auditor. I think it's 136. The county, their salary would be based depending on That's the on of salary. education. The salary part. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. you have a, an <coughs> assistant county treasurer at 40. Mm -hmm. You have a part time at 11. And then yours. Would you need those other people part time and all that too? I think I I still need the part timer and the assistant county attorney. Yes. I mean assistant county treasurer. Yes. If you had a, a, a an accountant in that office, I have an accountant in that office. My assistant county treasurer has a degree in accounting. So you would need? I would need at least one more full time. I think if you add the full time or the accountant in there, I don't think you'd need the part time employee. That's my personal opinion. I don't run the department, you do. So. Okay. Those are just my requests. Thank you. Thank you. Hi. Well, we need to, I mean, we keep on, like, people keep coming up. Are we going to give him another employee? I mean, we've all talked about uh, <coughs> giving him, getting him some help on the accounting part. So, I mean, I, let's take care of that before I, we just take off. I think he needs an accountant, but I don't think you need the part-time to go with it. I think you can cut the part-time and hire an accountant. That's my personal opinion. We're well, going to set salary in. I mean, that's, that's well, he was something. asking for 40, I don't know, Frank, what, what is a, a, an accountant? I don't know what they make. I don't know. I don't, I, I don't know. Matt, Matt likes the $80,000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is a general accountant, I mean, make? General accountant? Yeah. And, uh, degree certified, the whole spiel, or just someone with just uh, education somewhat? Some education somewhat to be able to help us with the accounting. Starting out 50. Is now 45. 45. 45. I don't have a problem supporting a, a full-time account there, but I, I'm, I'm with you. I don't think we need a part-time if you're going to hire a full-time. Yeah. That's my opinion. Make the motion. Let's go. I'll make a motion to add a full-time accountant at 45 plus benefits and to take out the part-time. There's a motion. Need a second? Second. 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 Okay, any more discussion? Not all those in favor, and by saying aye. 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 All those opposed? Nobody? 4 0. Thank you. All right. One, uh, one other deal before we leave. We talked about that air life. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. The air life on there. I think we need to add a line to this budget for X, whatever the money's going to be. We've had numbers anywhere from, if you look at what the school's proposing, uh, if we go by percentage to do the 135. I think that was like thirty some odd thousand dollars. Well, what uh, they're proposing here says fifty nine thousand four hundred, which I guess they're splitting it in this letter between well, us and them. The, the, yeah, and I got the letter, mm -hmm. Commissioner. The the problem is, is that I think there's other people want to participate. No, okay. uh, I, I just I think we need to set some money aside to do it. Let's uh, set aside. If we set aside forty, that would. Well, if we go by the percentages on there, uh, and and. There, and do that, and if everybody participates, ours would be 33,000 and change, and there's another 7,000 and change that we, that our employees would have the coverage that wherever this air life is at, if they, wherever they service, if our employees are hurt outside of the county, they would be covered for about another $7,800, so probably about 42. Okay. The only one I understand that doesn't want to participate is the city. And they're visiting with them. Um, we'll see. But I think if we set aside, you know, that 42, that would cover it. That yeah, a that's a motion. Second. second. There's a motion to second. Any more discussion? All those in favor, can I say aye? Aye. 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 All those opposed? Nobody? Do you want to address the exempt list at this meeting? No. I thought we already addressed it. Hmm? Well, to get it adopted. No, we we'll address it at the annual, at uh, the monthly meeting. Okay. okay. What about, Frank? Yes. Yeah. All, all these special funds. We got a book from TAC the other day that tells who's actually in control of these things. Mm -hmm. And most of them are actually 
the commissioner's board. It's not the individuals. And they're required to be approved and put into this budget, and we control the expenditures according to this. Not on all of them, but on a bunch of them, these funds. I don't know if you've seen this book. <coughs> I have not. <coughs> the, uh, we requested the supplemental budgets for those special funds, and we've received, uh, I don't know if we received all of them, but I know we received you know, a great majority of them. Okay, well, according to this, the only ones that can expend funds on a lot of these is the commissioner's court. It's, I think we were under the impression they were under control of other places, but a lot of these are under control of commissioner's court. The budgets have to be part of commissioner's court, and the expenditures have to be approved by commissioner's court. I don't know if you want to read this, but yep. um, so we're going to need those, all of, the, all of them budgets. Any others? If not, this means adjourned. <laughs>